We've tried being silent. We have tried the policy game. We have tried celebrities. We have tried everything! American institutions as we know them and our ability to fight the climate crisis are under threat without real reforms to restore balance to the judicial branch. That group is coming. Holy f So I'm here because scientists are not being listened to. I'm willing to take a risk for this gorgeous planet. <laughs> My sons. I think we've been trying to warn you guys for so many decades that we're heading towards a fucking catastrophe. And we've been being ignored. The scientists in the world have been being ignored. And it's gotta stop. We're gonna lose everything. And we're not joking. We're not lying. We're not exaggerating. This is so bad, everyone, um, that we're willing to take this risk and more and more scientists and more and more people are going to start joining us. And we are tired of being ignored. We've tried being unbiased. We've tried being silent. We have tried the policy game. We have tried celebrities. We have tried everything. This is the only way. We just heard that the bank is closed for the rest of the day. to do this because our government is basically ignoring all the evidence and we have tried all the rational normal evidence-based policy approaches and they're just not acting according to it the government's insane and i don't know what else to do other than to do this to try and get the attention that we need to wake the public up to understand that their government is acting completely in two faces right like that one hand they're saying oh we're taking climate change seriously we've declared an emergency and then on the other hand they invest in fossil fuels why are you doing this? We know that we can have no new oil and gas. And we were told last week by the Indian government that we cannot climate change. That it's now or never. And a couple of days later, our government came out with their new strategy to burn more oil and gas. They are taking us to disaster. And I am not going to stand up and allow this to happen. The scientists are here today to say that the government must listen to the science and not destroy our future because they are in the hands of the fossil fuel industry. We have the solutions. We have onshore wind that we can use. We can insulate our homes. But this government just wants to help the fossil fuel industry make more money. That's the only reason this is happening. And scientists like me and the others here are not willing to stand by and let it happen. There are various, various posters, um, they all sort of describe, um, well, well they're all scientific literature that unequivocally describes our need to cut emissions now. This one's about the, um, about the number and types of fossil fuels that we could extract to expect a livable future for young people alive now and it basically says no more new extraction and that's exactly what um, well, it flies in the face of the government's own energy strategy, which is um, still going for increased extraction of North Sea oil and gas.
is for all of the kids of the world, all the young people, all of the future people. This is so much bigger than any of us.